ibang contest na sinalihan mo and paano ka nakapag-audition sa X-Factor? Okay po. Um, my first um, TV po na, um, what do you call this? Okay, ang um, pinakauna pong first TV show po na sinalihan ko po ay The Voice Kids 2014. Mm -hmm. I, I sang Purple uh, <laughs> I sang Power of Love po during the blend editions and I got all the judges turned po sa aking song na po na yun. And my coach was Leia Salonga po that time. That was my first ever appearance for the TV. Paano naman yung how did you get to the live auditions naman? Paano yung process naman yun? Ah, sa... Sa live auditions naman. Okay. Um, I actually auditioned online po through their website. And I've, oh, I've tried to audition po two years ago pa po. So this is actually my third year for trying to audition online. And this year po, I got lucky. 2016 and 2017 was very unfortunate for, for me. And now that I got the chance for this 2018 to perform for sa live auditions for sa UK, I feel so blessed because, yeah, I've always wanted to be there for the like that. You're welcome. All right, thank you very much. And we have room for more questions. The mic is up here with me, or we could go to you if you have anything uh, or any question for Maria. Okay. Hi. Hi, Maria. Hi. Um, and John, by the way. Um, pretty good stuff. I mean, no doubt you're very, very talented. Thank you. Um, but let me put you on the spot. Um, we, we know that um, you, you kind of didn't get into the last few rounds, but what do you think was the thing that didn't make you go there? Oh, okay. Well, and uh, could you tell us also a little bit about what Simon said earlier that he didn't get the visa for it? Yeah. Um, the judges house po, which was just aired last weekend. Mm -hmm. Um, naka problema po ang visa, mm -hmm. and I didn't get the chance to perform in the U.S. with all the other girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they decided po. This is actually their first time doing this po in the whole season po ng X Factor. And yeah, I feel so lucky po dahil nabigyan pa rin po ng chance to stay on the competition and that Simon kept me po going sa competition po na yun. It's a big thing for me po kasi nagpapasalamat po ako sa kanya dahil like what I said po, not everyone are like, given the chance to be given like a, another round po. Yeah, opportunity like that. And uh, what do you think would you have done differently to be able to go through all the way? Well, um, I am a young girl po, who has mm -hmm. always been dreaming so big. And I can say po, na what makes me stand out po, is that I have the guts po, to perform in a big competition like the X Factor. Mm -hmm. and. That's actually one of my. Um, yun po yung mga kadalasan ko sa ko sa kapwa ka po teenagers to like never be shy about what they can do, about what their talent is, and they have to show the world what they can do. And yun po ang pinapakita ko po sa mga kabataan na yun, to not be shy sa not just sa lahat po ng tao, but yeah, about their talent. In the show, it's been mentioned that you came from the Philippines, but not specifically where. Where are you from? And uh, can you tell us a little bit, yeah. like a short background on okay. um, your beginnings? My full name po is Maria Dedi Maureen Laroco. Mm -hmm. Dedi Laroco po was the name I used during The Voice Kids, and Maria Laroco was the name I used sa X Factor po. So I, I am 17 years old. I am with my mom and dad ngayon po. We are currently living po here in Santa Mesa, Manila. But mm -hmm. my dad is from La Union, my mom is from Pangasinan, and I grew up from the Luban City. So is that like your circuit? Uh, do you, have you joined like local contests there before you went all out on showbiz? Ayan po, pag nakakakita po kami ng mga banderitas, may fiesta, ayan. Sali po ako sa barangay contest. <laughs> yes, doon po ako nag-start. And then, I joined the band as well. Mm -hmm. And 
they helped me po to enhance more po sa pakikipag, pakikitungo po sa mga tao, like, not to be shy nga po. And they taught me po sa pagsasalita po sa mga tao. And then, yeah, they helped me a lot po my band. Are you currently studying also? Yes, I am homeschooled po, but I just recently finished po my um, high school. So, yeah. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> All right, thank you, John. And we are, we have room for one more question. Uh, anybody? I think we have somebody at the far left of the, the venue. We have a microphone over here. Would you like to ask your question? All right, no. All right, okay. Um, hi Maria, I'm Fresh from Mata to Life. Just like to ask, uh, how, what was the emotions running in ya uh, from the time of the first live audition? Then uh, upon seeing the people in ya tomatayo giving you a standing ovation, plus yung six uh, chair challenge, which is really really nerve wracking. Yeah. Well, mixed emotions. I I felt all of the emotions. I don't know if that's even possible, but <laughs> I felt nervous and proud of myself. I feel like a winner already, just being in a competition like that. In the addition, I already feel like I'm the winner and that, yeah, I've always, I don't know, I feel like po agad sa moment po na pag-apak ko po ng stage, I felt na ako na po yung winner and that I am the winner for my family as well. And that I am so happy to be given the chance to represent po ang Filipino community, not just here po, but in London, UK, marami po kaming naging friends doon and yeah, naging super supportive po sila ang mga Filipino. Kaya, love na love po po ang Filipino community doon. Opo. Uh, also, a follow-up lang. Uh, did anyone from, yun nga, from your previous uh, competitions or yung nga, sa K-Coach Leia na uh, nakarinig ka ba yung reaction knowing that you were part of X Factor? Yes, um, on Twitter po, uh, the sneak peek po of my edition, uh, Leia Salamba retweeted it saying that um, this girl is good. So I, so I am so happy po kasi na, I don't know po if she still remembers me. So I retweeted her back na I was one of her um, like alagas po sa team po niya. I, I was steady po when I was 13 years old and now I'm Maria. <laughs> And yeah, I, I am just so happy po. And kasi po na, naalala niya po rin po ako. And that's a big thing for me po, Coach Lee. Thank you very much. Thank you po. All right, from the voice kids to the X Factor UK, really, where we have gone a very long way. Um, and uh, we would like to thank our friends from the media for all of your questions, and of course, Maria, for your spontaneity, truly a, a gutsy girl with power vocals. And now, we will still accommodate questions uh, and interviews later for Maria. Please approach our friends from M2.0 Communications if you want to ask Maria more questions later tonight. And if we could just be any luckier than this. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Maria is going to be performing for us tonight. This time, she will be performing to us her audition piece.